Why don't foreign countries have pedestrian guardrails? Have you ever wondered why in shopping streets in other countries they don't have pedestrian guardrails to stop people crossing the roads wherever they want? Is it because foreigners are more law-abiding and only cross at designated crossings? No. Highway engineers tell us that it's just that we in Britain are more concerned about road safety. Of course, we know that road safety is a cultural phenomenon. For example, in London, traffic lights are seen as an instruction. In Paris, they are seen as a suggestion. In Russia, they are seen as Christmas decorations. Now, you and I know that pedestrian guardrails can make a street less safe. They encourage drivers to feel that the street is theirs alone and to drive like it's a motorway. Pedestrians climb over them anyway and walk along the street side of the railings until they get to a gap. The drivers don't see them because they don't expect them to be there. Cyclists get caught between trucks on one side and the railings on the other. Actually, a warning about this was published in 1999 in a government document by the Department of the Environment, Transport and the Regions. This document was called Developing a Strategy for Walking. It's still a really useful document if you're in need of a strategy for walking. Personally, I find the old one foot in front of the other strategy perfectly serviceable, but you only need to visit Kings Lynn High Street on a Saturday night to know that some people have very different ideas. Despite highway engineers telling us for years that pedestrian guardrails are there to make streets safer for pedestrians, it turns out that that was not what they were introduced for at all. It was admitted fairly recently that pedestrian guardrails were put in place for a very different purpose. Nothing to do with guarding pedestrians. It was to prevent cars stopping outside shops. You know how convenient it can be to stop the car outside a shop on a high street just for a minute while you nip in to buy something? Yes, that's just what high streets do best. Now, if there are pedestrian guardrails, not only will you not be able to get to the shop, but you won't even be able to open the car door on the pavement side. That way the traffic keeps moving, which makes the highway engineers very happy. But the high street keeps dying. The good news is that people are at last seeing the light and pedestrian guardrails are being removed. Don't people walk out onto the street and get run over? Well, actually, no, they don't. Uh, when people are not treated like sheep in a sheep pen, they look around them and use their judgment. And drivers see that they're driving down a shopping street and not a quasi-motorway, so they keep their eyes open as well. The question remains, what use can we find for several hundred miles of unwanted pedestrian guard railing. Am I alone in thinking that, suitably strengthened, they might serve as a track for a high-speed railway from London to Glasgow?